Once upon a time, I was a little girl who had a wonderful childhood. I fell in love, became a princess, had two beautiful children. Life was perfect. But I didn't think I deserved it. So I sabotaged myself, and I hit rock bottom. It was my trail of destruction. There, you know, the last one, May 23rd. It was, it was really, I knew this guy was wrong. I knew that he was a journalist. I had an, an instinct that he was. And yet my people-pleasing addiction kept me going on that if he could help me and if he could invest in my business, and, and he also promised to build the schools in Afghanistan, uh, that maybe then everyone would love me more or maybe then all my staff would be paid. And you know what? It wasn't real. Why didn't I just listen? And even now, you know, you would look back on the past, you regret, you live with regret. It's very, very hard to know that you had the tools always within you, to know that you are very aware now of the tools and of your behavior, and wish and long to go back to the bride and ask her to do things differently. But you can't. What on earth have I done with my life? How did I get it so wrong? It was in 1986 when I married Prince Andrew. I was 26 years old when I became the Duchess of York. A little girl from a small English village had become a member of the royal family. From the outside, my life looked perfect. But on the inside, I felt worthless. I think that, uh, I think that f Fergie baiting is, sells a lot of papers in Britain and Fergie does fall, tend to fall into the traps. So could it air in Britain? Probably not, without a dramatic um, ramifications of negativity, because I think that it's difficult. I've been around this area all my life, really. Philip? Yes, ma'am. There's my old house. And my room is on the next floor up where the window's open. This is my view. They call that the wedding cake. And when I got married, everyone went round the wedding cake. Uh, if you keep with it, you see that I have, I literally grow so much. And at the end, I'm, I'm aware and I have the tools in order to deal with my life.